we often think of charismatic people as being charming people, but we would never think of like a charming cottage as being charismatic. So being charismatic or having charisma, it first entered the English language in the 1700s. And it comes from the root Greek word charis, which just means gift or favor. It was found in the Christian Bible in reference to spiritual grace or divine grace, essentially meaning that if someone had charisma, they had a gift from God. So if we fast forward to the 19th century, there's a German sociologist named Max Weber. He connects this Christian idea of charisma with world leaders at the time, you know, people who were really influential, who had authority over other people. A, a figure like Martin Luther King Jr. was a man who had charisma. He moved people. But I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So let's fast forward again to the 20th century. Charismatic is being openly used anywhere to describe your teachers, your doctors, your, your family and friends. Everybody can be charismatic, it's a life skill. And we think of these charismatic people as also being very charming, which brings us to the word charming. And it actually is a French word that entered our language in the 1300s. And it literally means or meant like magic spell. That's right, Harry Potter fans charm literally meant magic spell. Expecto Patronum! A charming smile or a charming story can really draw us in. This is why like nowadays we, we tend to associate charm with, with the word and the feeling of, of alluring. We kind of are put under a spell by their charming smile or their, their charming grace. So a charming person isn't necessarily charismatic. And even though we might describe someone who is charismatic as being likable, we tend to reserve the word charismatic for people who are really influencing the world, who are really motivating people, who have a sense of authority over other people. 